Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editor X. Today I want to show you how to create this cool mouse hover trail effect, kind of. Um, I'm going to use I'm going to use um, a hover interaction and repeater to create this effect, and you can see that behind the background is constantly change and very dynamic. Uh, you can do it also static, but Let's jump to the editor and see how to create it. All right, so this is my editor. Uh, I have here only one section. Let's see the layers panel. So this is the section we are going to work on. And I have some title, it's not important. And we have this container that include, um, what happened? Include the repeater. Uh, you can see I have three items here and uh, image that is not displayed and, and background video I can make it uh, I, I will bring it to, to above everything and you can see it but it located behind the container appear so let's recreate it from scratch um, and you will see how easy it is so I'm dealing with um, full screen section as you can see right here if I scroll down it's the footer but you can do it uh, the way you like um, anyway so for 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 the beginning I will my computer is so slow so I will set this section to be a uh, hundred VH but because uh, I have the um, non premium website banner so I will calculate it. So I will set it to be a hundred VH minus fifty pixels, which is the banner height. All right. So this is my section. So let's set a repeater immediately. So I need a repeater, and this is important. I need to change um, the layout form carts which is breaking when you set a fixed width to uh, grid cells which um, how to say it it's like you know how to stretch to take the empty space if there is any so let's remove the gaps I don't need the gaps and I will set each column minimum width to be 50 pixels right so it looks something like this I have three items here um, and let's place it but I will put it inside a container because I know that I need to so let's place it in a container and give some background to this container just so we can see it okay and I will make the container a hundred percent from the parent section and place it to the top left and what else I need to set the width to be a hundred percent sorry not a thousand a hundred all right so I have a repeater let's uh, color uh, each item with black color all right and what else I need um, that's it basically okay so the effect here is that basically each cell that I'm hovering on you can see that it um, it's it's uh, removing the background color which is black okay so let's do it quickly so let's select a single item let's go to the hover interaction to the interaction tab let's click on trigger a trigger hover effect um, affected element it's the container itself let's go to effects let's create this, a custom one and what did I click no what's happened I need to create a custom interaction okay so hover I will call it hover or maybe height it's more right 
and now the only thing I'm going to do I'm going to remove the background to be uh, transparent all right so let's preview it and now you can see that when I'm hovering a specific element it's hidden right the background become transparent great now the next thing we need to do is to fill this section with boxes okay so the hard way is to actually go to to an element and duplicate like multiple elements and as you can see it uh, I have now um, I don't know how many oh seven items okay but I don't want to do it because it's a lot of time and basically you don't know what is the height and the width of the screen to fill uh, this this kind of um, amount of repeater items right basically the effect we are going to do is to fill the entire screen with repeater items and then the the hover effect will apply for each of them and the, then you can do something like this we, we, we didn't um, finish with the animation but for now we need to fill this section with the boxes so I will use code to do it because it's the easiest way so this is my code okay it's it's more simple than it looks but the first first of all I need to uh, get the repeater item uh, the repeater ID so let's set the repeater ID to be mouse trail repeater it it's not allow me because I have it already here so let's delete this one we don't need it um, let's delete this repeater all right so now this repeater will get this ID mouse trail repeater great um, let's ignore it for now so what's happened here I have a function called init repeater can I make it big bigger yeah so I have a function called init box repeater it should be something like mouse trail repeater okay so this is the function name and then um, uh, I'm checking which device do we have if it's uh, if it's not desktop so it's uh, tablet or mobile I don't want to apply this effect because we don't have hover interaction uh, we don't have mouse in in tablet and mobile it's touch screen so I don't want to use this effect you can uh, comment this out if you don't want to use it all right I'll delete it uh, second thing that I'm doing I'm checking what is the width of the screen uh, actually this is not true it's not the width is the window info because it's included um, the width and height okay my mistake so how do I get the Windows info I have a function that return this um, this information it's located right here so basically it's taking the uh, this info from the Wix window API and it returning the width and the height in pixels so why do I need the width, the width and the height of the screen because I need to know how many boxes I need to fill the entire screen with items okay um, second of all I have the repeater item and then uh, the repeater element and then the repeater items which is empty array I'm going to fill these repeater items with the amount of items that I need to fill this the entire screen and I'm I need to know how big each cells is okay if you remember we set each cells to be itself to be uh, 50 pixels width and 50 pixels height why well, don't you see it oh it's right it's in the repeater setting column width and row mean height is 50 50 okay so it's 50 by 50 so this is why here in the code I'm storing this number and then this is the total number that I need to fill the entire screen which is the window width 
divided by repeater item size, which is 50 pixels, and the height divided by uh, uh, item size, and we are multiple it, right? Later, we will see in the console how many items do I need for each screen, okay? Second thing that I, uh, third thing that I'm doing is, um, is I'm looping over the amount of items that I need. I have a for loop and create new item um, and create items to fill the repeater. Each item needs to get a unique ID. This is why I'm using the index to create um, uh, ID, which is a number as a string. All right. So finally, I am setting the repeater data with all the items that I need. Basically, it's taking one item. Here, basically, I need only one item, not two or three, but it's better to to see that this is a repeater item. This is why I'm keeping keeping something. Uh, okay, so why it's not coming up? My computer is super slow. I don't know what's going on. Open it. All right. So, oh, I make it smaller again. Anyway, uh, last thing I'm showing the repeater. Um, actually, I don't need it. Can I re remove it? Uh, I I um, I did like a different trick, but we will see it later. I will explain why. So let's publish it and see in the live site what the results we get. So if I refresh it, now you see this, this background. You, you see it for a second, right? It's the container background. And then you see the entire screen filled with uh, items, right? And when and, and the hover we created is that exactly what we see here. When we hover a specific item, uh, its background becomes transparent. But let's see just for a second how many items do we have here. So when when this panel was closed, we get we was getting 635 items. But now if I make the screen smaller and refresh the screen, you will get less items because the screen is smaller. So let's see. Now we have 378. Okay, why this is important? Because, because we need to know exactly how many items we need to fill. And, base, and the second thing which is super important is that this effect, this effect can harm your website performance. Okay, this is why it's um, important to load only the amount items that you need. And sec second of all, I I, my advice to you is to not use it as the first element in, in your website because it's taking some time to load to create all these items. So it's better to do it like below the first fold. Um, so after I say that, so basically our uh, interaction is working, but as you can see, it's, we don't have the trail we talked about. It's immediately uh, hiding and showing uh, a specific cell that I'm hovering on. So here's come the trick. So let's go back to the animation and let's add the effect. Okay. So the high duration that it takes to create this effect is uh, 0 0.3 seconds. Okay. Or 300 milliseconds. So let's change it to one, which would be super quick but here this is the trick we are going to uh, control the initial state this is the hover state okay how much time it will take to apply the hover but the initial state will affect how much time it will take this cell which is now transparent to return to its initial position okay so if we make it longer we will get some different effect so let's make it two seconds, which is a lot. Okay. So let's click done and publish the site. 
and refresh it. And now you see different effect, right? You see it's taking two seconds for each cell to, to, to go back to his initial state, which is the background is filled with black, right? So now we get this cool effect, okay? So um, before, not before, but, but now you can see that I'm see uh, like a solid color behind of it. But basically we can do, we can put anything that we like behind this. But before I'm going to do it, um, I, 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 want, I want to say that I'm not going to put anything inside this, um, this uh, repeater containers. Let's change his name to uh, repeater, repeater wrapper. And I will set, uh, what I don't need to do it. So this is the repeater wrapper. And the trick that I'm doing just not to see this uh, different coloration between until the, until the repeater loads all this item is just to match this container background with the item background. So let's do it also black. Okay, so now it's identical, right? But I need to I need to remove this uh, container uh, black color after we load all the items because we if we hover we will see the background of the container and we see nothing basically. So this is uh, this twenty five line code. What it does basically it's taking the repeater wrapper. I I have it here I think. Um, yeah, so we need to delete it from here. And then I will change its ID here. So we are taking this element and changing its background color to be transparent. It's black, but with zero opacity. Um, so let's see the effect right now. If you remember, um, the section background is white. So now we don't need to see the off white. We need to see white color. And you can see right here. Okay. But as you can see, when I reload the page, I don't see this uh, repeater filled with uh, information with uh, itself. So now basically this is the uh, repeater wrapper. So I will select the section and put an image. Okay, so let's click in to add an image to the section and not drag because if, if I drag it will uh, go inside the repeater wrapper. So let's stretch it. Okay, and let's change it. It, it immediately goes back when you stretch something. And let's select this image, this women's. So I will bring it back uh, uh, on top to you, just you to see it. And then I will move it back again. So this is the background we are going to see when we are hovering. So now, as you can see, I'm revealing the image behind of it. Cool, right? So, you could say that I don't reveal, um, I don't have enough, enough time to reveal, right? Because it's immediately, uh, it's take two seconds, but it's, it's, um, I don't see enough from the image. So you can easily change it by selecting a repeater item, go back to um, the effect, go to the initial states, and let's change it drastically to 10 seconds, all right? So it will take text 10 seconds to the uh, kind of fade out to apply. So now you can see I, I can reveal like a bigger part of the image and then it will start to fade out. It, it will take 10 seconds. Okay, so it looks better. Um, I will change it back to two seconds because now I'm going to remove this image and use video box 
same effect as I showed you before. So let's add a video box and change uh, its video to some abstract color. So let's change this one to abstract. And this is Wix uh, media from Wix. So I I want to show you the gradient I choose before because it's super cool. It basically was this one. Okay, it's this uh, gradient effect. So let's update the video, stretch it, and publish. And now you will see that we see this amazing um, animated gradient behind. So basically, you can do a, a, anything you want there. Um, so so this is uh, the most of, of uh, actually this is the whole tutorial but I have some important note to tell that is if you want to display some content here for example I have this text uh, of the tutorial so let's put it right here this is how to create cool hover interaction so let's place it like uh, 100 from left and 80 pixels from bottom and publish it so it's right here right so the hover is working as, as expected but here it will not apply because I have this element that it divide divide me be, uh, from applying hover of the repeater which is behind so this is something you, you should uh, remember um, but also cool thing that you can do you can actually bring it uh, behind the repeater and then you will reveal the content so that's it so now you see that I'm revealing this text which is very cool you can do like a bigger uh, fade transition uh, the initial and then you will have more time to reveal more content so that's it super cool I will show you the code um, I guess here in the example website here I put the code um, and that's it until next time keep building amazing sites on Adorix